Hello guys, this is Dapsanish Mo. Today let's take a look at how to optimize a website in WYSIWYG Web Builder for search engines. So talking about SEO or search engine optimization, the first thing we may want to talk about is um, the index follow. So um, what do I mean by the index follow? So the index follow has some sort of rules. Let me show you what I mean. So right click on an empty space in your canvas, go to page properties and come to miscellaneous. Under miscellaneous, you see search engine optimization over here. So where you have robots, click on the drop down arrow and these are the options you have. So this is simply to tell the robots, that is search engine robots, to either list your site and search engines or not, or this particular page. So you can um, apply it to specific pages in your project. So that's the first thing we will talk about or we, we, we need in search engine optimization. So the first thing we'll be, we'll be doing over here is to click on the drop down arrow and select index follow. So um, you can also go ahead to specify the days at which the um, robot or the bot should come back and visit your website and as well as specify the expiring date or the days at which your page or website or whatever it is is going to expire. So that is the first step I'm um, talking about search engine optimization. Now we may want to take a look at uh, meta tags. So meta tag is um, a, a section of your website which is going to contain useful information. This side or this section doesn't display in your page. So when you come to your meta tag, we have um, the first part which is the author. So the author is going to be the information or the name of um, the website, the one who created the website. Now you go ahead and list your keywords that is for search engine optimization keywords over here. Then one useful aspect as well is listing or uh, specifying the description of the page or the website. You can go ahead and specify a category for it and um, here we have the generator and uh, user defined here we will not really talk much about so that's the next step in search engine optimization that's optimizing your website in wizard web builder for search engines now the next thing we may want to talk about has got to do with images so for instance let me just um, go ahead and bring an image into my project so i'm going to locate some images on my desktop and I'm going to bring them into my project. So for instance, I have this image over here. Let me just go ahead and reduce this a little bit. Let me just resize it all. Okay. So here we go. I have this image. Now when I go ahead and double click in this image, you realize there are a couple of um, options we have over here. The first here um, I want us to talk about is the alternative test. So what the alternative test does is that it gives us some sort of information about the image. So there could be a situation whereby this image cannot be found or our internet or link is going to be very slow. We are trying to pull up this image or this image is trying to load and it's going to take a long while or it doesn't even show at all. We want a situation whereby a user or a bot which will visit our page should be able to see what this image is about. So let's say um, this is a banner image. So if I specify over here banner image of code and um, in a situation whereby this image is not able to load, the person gets this information and gets a fair idea about what the image is about over here. As well as you can go ahead and specify the title of the image. So let me show you what the title does. Let me just go ahead and say banner image. Before then, um, let me just take it off, copy this, let me just clear it, let me click on OK. Let me preview this in my browser and um, let me show you. Um, so as you see, um, this is the image over here. When I hover over it, I don't get any information. Now let me show you what um, the alternative test is going to be like. So let me go ahead and go to inspect and I'll show you the alternative test we specified. So as you can see, we have the banner image of code. That is the alternative test um, we specified in a project. Now let's come back to the project. Let me go ahead and double click on this and um, let me just paste this here. I'll go ahead and click on OK and I'm going to preview this. Now when I hover over this, you realize it gives me some form of information. That is the title. So this is the title of the image. And this is also um, a useful aspect of search engine optimization and um, in Wizard with Web Builder. Now the next thing we are going to talk about has got to do with length. So let me go ahead and double click on this and um, let me just switch to link. Now, if you come to the link section as well, you realize there's title over here. So the title just does what um, we saw uh, previously. That's the title we have over here. Now, let me go ahead and click on OK. Let me go to my toolbox and then under drawing, let me locate um, shape. Let me just bring my shape over here. 
I want a situation whereby the ship two is going to serve as a link. So let me just go ahead, double click on this, go to test, and let me just type read. So I'll go ahead and, and click on OK. So this is my read. Now let me come back and double click on this, and um, let's go to test. And the test, you realize when you look at the bottom over here, we have alternative test. So the alternative test is going to save, um, serve the same purpose as what we saw for the image over here. Now when you come to link as well, we have a title over here, which is also going to serve as the same purpose for the title we saw over here. Now, one useful aspect um, that has got to do with search engine optimization is adding a sitemap into your uh, to your project. Now, let's take a look at how to add a sitemap. So, to add a sitemap, just simply go to Tools and um, click on Sitemap. Now, when you click on Sitemap, go ahead and check this box to generate a sitemap. So, you can go ahead and specify your website address over here so that this sitemap which is going to be generated is going to um, pair or going to generate the sitemap based on this particular link you have over here so when submitting um sitemap to um, search engines such as google uh, the sitemap has to be in the xml format so that is what we have over here it says what generate sitemap when the site is published sitemap.xml will be placed in the root so that is another useful aspect of um, search engine optimization with web builder i think we are done for now thank you very much for watching bye for now